Model year 18, Beta 300RR, getting Zen with my Beta. Well, I had uh, something new here this week and uh, had a training course coming up where I was going to train a couple of guys on dual sport bikes how to ride better. They're uh, going to be riding across uh, America here and they want to be able to ride their uh, dual sport bikes a little more like dirt bikes. So I figured I'd need to use my kickstand uh, a lot more than I normally do. So I decided to quick make a kickstand pad and I'm going to dig out my tape measure here. So instead of the traditional metal kickstand pad, I decided to go with a flexible plastic one. And uh, for those that have watched other videos, this came from the old IKEA cutting board. There's the part number. So I, like I say, I buy a ton of these things. This is We've used these before. So I just cut a pattern out. A uh, little over two, two and a half by inch and a half. I drilled and tapped a six millimeter bolt hole, countersunk hole into my uh, kickstand. Put a washer underneath it because there's a little uh, recess in the uh, kickstand here. And then use some red Loctite, screwed it on and this thing worked like a champ. Uh, it's actually designed to, in a big get off, uh, break away if needed. Uh, it's designed really not to become a weapon, more to uh, just do its job when it can. And during that weekend, I tested it out. We were in super soft sand, put the kickstand down, held the bike fine. Uh, so far I haven't had any troubles with it. Uh, it actually stays put pretty good. Um, I think it's a win. So for a couple of cents, there you go. I'm going to show you that, uh, that drill and tap set that I have here too. So this is the drill and tap set, my metric one. I also have an English one. Uh, I invested in this a few years ago. I bought a good quality set the proper tap drills, uh, and this covers most of the standard metric sizes that you'll find. Uh, but for this case, I used an M6 by one. Uh, it's not always the case, but this generally covers most things you'll find on the bike. So I'll use this a lot of times to clean up uh, bunged up holes. But don't buy a cheap set. Spend the money on a good set. There's a lot of cheap uh, Chinese stuff out there. They don't cut real well. These are super sharp. So. That's how I solve a lot of problems, do a lot of things on the bike. So, so there you have it. Uh, subscribe. Got more videos coming. Uh, we're getting to the, gosh, I think we might be the six, past the six-month point. Uh, the 2019s have, are coming out, so we'll talk about those a bit. And uh, more coming because uh, the more I ride it, the more I'm going to start breaking stuff, and we're going to get to see what that all means. But... Uh, and actually coming up on a suspension uh, probably service here soon too. So keep watching, subscribe, hit that like button. Thanks much.